Starting off, one of the most important steps in building a proper rig is having a good default expression to work from. Start by importing a base mesh and a default scan expression. Next, use the Select Polygons node to select faces within the mouth bag. This is to prevent the wrap node from trying to calculate what is inside the mouth while the wrapping attempts to match the surface of the scan. Then, use the Select Points node to mark identical landmarks between both the base and the scan data. This will ensure for a much more accurate wrap result. Upon completion of isolating the geo through Select Polygons, as well as referencing points with Select Points, you are now ready to start wrapping. All of the nodes created thus far will now be connected to the wrap node. Base Mesh to Floating Geometry scan mesh to fix geometry, select points to points, and select polygons to free polygons. Finally, in the wrap node, use the default settings and press compute. Great! Looking at the result, the meshes should be fairly similar. However, there are a few artifacts on the eyelids of the base mesh. This is unavoidable due to the fact that the wrap mesh is driven by the scan data, and since the scan data has artifacts, so will the wrap data. To solve this issue, I will simply export the base mesh with the save geom node and clean the data in Maya manually. After opening Maya, the first step is to import both the scan mesh and wrap base mesh. Second is to use the Sculpt Geometry tool to edit the base mesh by using the scan data as reference. The goal is to try to sculpt the base mesh to match the scan data as closely as possible, while making sure to avoid sculpting any nasty artifacts that the scan data may have. I usually use the Sculpt Geometry tools Inflate and Smooth Brush to solve these issues. The brushes will usually remove any jaggedness and indentation from the mesh. Once the base mesh's geometry is clean, re-import the mesh back into wrap. The last step in completing the base mesh is to transfer the scanned object's texture onto the base mesh. This is done with wrap's transfer texture node. By connecting both the scan data and the updated base mesh into the transfer texture node, a 2D texture will be produced that can be viewed within the viewport 2D. Next, create a save image node to save the texture. Now that I have completed building a base mesh with texture, I'm ready to process new expressions. For the scan data of the new expressions, I'm going to use the optical flow wrapping system. This workflow is very similar to the wrap node used earlier. However, there is one important difference. The optical flow requires both the scan data and base mesh to have textures. Reason for this is due to its calculations being based on both points and texture details. After connecting the textures onto their designated meshes, as well as isolating the mouth bag, next comes the selected points node for optical flow wrapping. As you can see, I spent a lot of time placing points on the facial details this time around. The reason for this is that having facial landmarks that match the neutral and current expressions are incredibly important, especially for making sure that the blend shape deformations move correctly. Having more points increases optical flow's accuracy. Lastly, in the optical flow settings, I edit the number of tracking cameras and move the pivot of the camera to the center of the head. Once this is done, I am ready to compute using optical flow. Great! All that is left is to save the wrap mesh out with the save geom node. 